door in that position. But we serve from that position. The graces to be gained as we humble ourselves to the work. There are graces to be gained. But it's not the grace of salvation. It's the graces of service. We're settled in salvation. We're already in the heavenlies in Christ. Positionally, we're settled, but practically, we're serving. We are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. Under good works, which God has ordained us to walk through. We are to work from this position. But not only do we find ourselves working from this position, we find ourselves wrestling in this position. Wrestling in this position. Not wrestling for this position. It is said we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. But as the Israelites, they could not live in the promised land because they did not believe. We will not live victoriously, even though we have the victory, if we do not believe. If we do not, and we wrestle. We wrestle. If you recall the Israelites, as they were told, told to go over, they were told there are giants in the land. And can I say this? There are giants that are coming against us to keep us from living victoriously in this Christian life. There were giants in the land and, and Joshua and Caleb saw the giants but they believed the promise. The others entered not in because of unbelief. This is very practical. This is not positional. These were God's people. They were the children of God, the children of promise. But they did not live up to the promise because of unbelief. It's a practical truth. Was the battle resting against the giants in the land? They didn't get to the land. They didn't have to wrestle with the giants. They were wrestling with the giants in their mind. And they were getting whooped by the giants of their mind. Had the land been promised? Of course it had. Was the one who promised the land able to keep his promises? Of course he wasn't. Jehovah God who promised the land. It wasn't Joshua. It wasn't Moses. It was God himself who had given the promise to Abraham. The promise to Isaac. The promise to Jacob. God had promised. And God keeps his promises. It was not a battle with the giants in the land. It was a battle with the giants of their mind. And as we know, most of them died. Never tasted the milk and honey of the land. Never seeing the heavenlies that were theirs on this side of eternity. This is not about salvation truth. They'd already been made to sit in heavenly places. They were already God's people. But they didn't enjoy being God's people on this side. Position, it was theirs, present tense. It was their land. But possessed by others. But practically, they never entered the enjoyment. Why? Because of unbelief. They wrestled or refused to wrestle. Today, there's multitudes in the valley of decision. Shall I trust Christ for salvation? Or not? 
But there's many also Christians who are in the valley of decision. Shall I enjoy Christ in salvation? If I enjoy Christ in salvation, I might have to give up this. I might have to go there. There are some giants in the land. Again, I want to emphasize I am in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood, the giants in the land, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, the giants of our mind. Fire and darts of the wicked one are shot, and we are to renew our mind. We're to wear the helmet of salvation and rest in the Lord. Because the battle is not in the land. The battle is in our mind. The giants who are close, but not quite to the heavenlies, for the Bible says they are spiritual weakness in high places. But can I say, the heaven of heavens is far above all principalities and powers. Hallelujah. And we're made to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We're there. Christ has made us to sit, raised us up far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name in his name. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Chapter 1, verse 21 tells us. I may to sit in the heavenly places in Christ far above all the giants, far above all that fight against me. They can't get me. But they sure can stop me from enjoying what I've got here. What happens in heavenly places in Christ Jesus is the fiery dark of the wicked one want to come and mess with our mind when we're supposed to be resting in the Lord seated we keep on stammering we keep on struggling why? because of unbelief because we do not believe the facts of the book the word of truth we do not believe these things. We do not walk by faith. We look by sight. And we live by sight. I ask you this question. Where are you sitting today? If you're saved, if you've been born again, if you're a child of God, He has raised us up and made us sit in heavenly places in God. Positionally, we're there. But I do not just ask those who are lost, where are you today? Where are you sitting today? Because if you've not been born again, you are not sitting today. But if you believe, act that you believe, Oh, you'll be sealed in the seated position in heavenly places in God's places. But I ask practically, where are you seated today? Where are you today? Are you letting the giants of your mind be like they're the giants of the land? And therefore not entering into the rest that God has for you. Labor therefore that you enter into that rest. There remains the rest for the people of God, but they'll not enter in because of unbelief. The good news was 
preach to them the same good news that God will give them rest. As it's preached to the child of God today, God will give you rest. He's coming to me all your labor and heaven. I'll give you rest. But they enter not into that rest because of unbelief. They did not believe that the God who could deliver them from Egypt could deliver them from the giants. He delivered them from Egypt. He parted the Red Sea. He gave them water in the wilderness. And they said, there's giants in the land. And they didn't even fight the giants before they said, I give up. I quit. It's too big for God to live. And they enter not in because of unbelief. The apostle challenges us in this book of Ephesians, in verse number 10 of chapter 6, right before he goes to put on the whole armor of God, he says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in your own might and in the fact that you're somebody that you got born again, be strong in the fact that you're now reading your Bible and pray every day. Be strong in the fact that you go to church every Lord's Day. No, he does not say that. He says be strong in the Lord. You know where the Lord's at? In heavenly places. And in the power of His might. Not in your might. The battle belongs to the Lord. What are we to do in heavenly places? We're to rest. We're to sit. We're to enjoy Him. We're to sit in His presence, sing His praises, and be settled down secure forever. Because we're sealed by the Holy Spirit upon us. But what do we do? We work. In our work. But then we rest because we do not believe that we have a position that we have. Intellectually, we say, oh yeah, I'm seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. But in reality, I've got to fight this battle. I've got to fight this battle. I've got to win this war. We are in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Father, I pray to you, burn this in our heart. Secure it and settle it in our mind. That you have done it all. That Jesus paid it all. That Jesus has done it all. That all we need to do is just love you. I